Apocalypse Inc. Productions presents 5-Minute Stories, written and read by Jennifer Brozek. 5-Minute Stories, a little bit of story to last you all day. This story is called Two Letters. Hey mom, this retirement party's for you, you know. Don't you think you ought to be enjoying it? Tonya stood in the den doorway. Paula looked up from her cluttered desk. I know, I'm just finishing up a little paperwork. The work's never done, is it? No, not usually, but this time it almost is. There was silence while Tanya watched her mother sign a piece of paper, fold it in thirds, and slide it into an envelope. Then the older woman fumbled for her lighter. She didn't find it in any of her pockets. Tanya stepped forward and offered hers. Mom? Paula accepted the lighter and picked up a sealing wax candle. Can I ask you a question? You just did. A hint of her mother's devil-may-care smile made a brief appearance. You know what I mean. Tanya continued when her mother gestured for her to do so. Why are you retiring? Government works in your blood like business is in mine. Paula stopped what she was doing. Have a seat. I've got a story to tell you. Maybe you'll understand. Maybe you won't. But I'm betting you will. Tonya sat and watched the woman she'd always admired, but didn't always understand. How her mother could have stayed in government work, while the business world had clamored for her skills and leadership, offering an obscene salary to boot, was beyond her. I'm listening. You remember Terry Woodsworth? Your predecessor. Sure. He sat me down on the night of his retirement party and said, Paula... You've got to know that this is a job that will eat a man or a woman alive, if they're not careful. The burnout rate is 100%. I know you're a good woman and right for this job. I also know you're going to run into shit you just can't handle. So I'm giving you these. He handed me two letters. Both were sealed in wax. The first had a number one on it. The second had a number two on it. Then he told me, There will come a time when the shit hits the fan and your world's going to crumble. When that happens, open the first letter. It will tell you what to do. But it's got to be your last resort, Paula. The very last. I'd agreed, thinking, you know, it was both strange and touching. Then he tapped the second one. When your world goes to shit again, and there's absolutely nothing you can do to save it, open the second letter. But, like the first letter, it's got to be the last resort. When you can think of nothing left to save the mission, or your people, open this. Again, I agreed. Tonya frowned, intrigued. Did you ever open those letters? Her mother nodded. Yes, I did. It's one of the reasons I've held this job as long as I did, longer than any of the previous department heads. What did they say? The first was about a year into my stint as director. Really, everything was falling down around my ears. The mission had failed. My people were hurting. The sharks were circling. It was a point of no return. If I didn't do something, everything was lost. I tried everything I could think of. And for the first time, I realized that I really did need those letters. I opened the first one and was shocked. What did it say? Tonya leaned forward. She was hooked. She had to know. It said, Blame everything on me. I'm long gone and couldn't care less what my rep in the department is now. Do what you have to do. At first, I didn't want to, but immediately a plan came to mind. So I did. I did what Terry told me to do, and it worked. I pulled our collective asses out of the fire at the expense of my mentor's reputation. Paula flicked Tanya's lighter on and lit the end of the sealing wax. They watched in silence as the melted wax covered the first letter, and Paula stamped her seal to it. Tonya still hadn't found any appropriate words in response as her mother repeated the procedure with the second letter. This hadn't been what she'd expected. Finally, she asked, Did you need to open the second letter? Paula nodded. Yeah, I did, a couple of weeks ago. And? She took a breath. It simply said, It's time for you to write two letters. Apocalypse Inc. Productions hopes you have enjoyed this story by Jennifer Brozek. If you would like to read it, or others like it, it is available in 5-Minute Stories, Volume 5, by Jennifer Brozek on Amazon.com.